Hello and welcome. Please take a moment, try this problem out, and then press play when you're ready to work with me on it. Alright, so let's read together. Jacob and Jessica are studying the spread of dandelions, and Jacob discovers that the growth over t weeks can be defined by the function oops, f of t. Right, I'm going to write this down. This is Jacob's function. We'll write j here. Equals 8 times 2 to the t. Then we have Jessica, and she finds that the growth function over, oh, they're both j's. Ugh. So Jessica, j-e. Uh, sorry about that. It's g of t equals 2 to the t plus 3. Calculate the number of dandelions that Jacob and Jessica will each have after five weeks. So these are actually, uh, in this case, the same function. How do I know? Well, if I plug in five to the first function, the Jacob's function, that's that means we're finding when t is five, f of five, we get eight times two to the fifth. And what's that? Well, eight is two to the third times two to the fifth, and that's two to the eighth, right? I'll, 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 you'll see why I showed it that way in a second. So 2, I don't have to write, write out times 2, 8 times, ew, right? Or times 7 times from the original. I just write caret 8, right? 2 to the 8th is 256. And then for Jessica, um, here you can see it would be g of 5. So that's 2 to the 5 plus 3 which is still equal to 2 to the 8th. You can see that these are the are equal, right? That's why I wrote it out this way, so you can see the laws of exponents, so equivalents. And that's 256 as well. So in both cases, we get 256. Thanks. Now, later, I, I didn't get the, the rest of the question here. You can't see it, but they, they want you to say how the two uh, functions related to each other. And you can say that they're always equal. Um, now, how do you know this? Well, I think an easy way of inferring that they're always equal is to plug in different values of t. Try several values of t, and you'll see that, in fact, these things are always equivalent. And um, I think that's really the best way to kind of think about it. Um, but if you don't like that way, you can uh, think about another way here. In general, let's just rewrite Jacob's equation, right, from the very beginning. f of t, right, equals 8, that's 2 to the third, times 2 to the t. And what does that equal? Well, in laws of exponents, we add the two exponents. So that's 2 to the 3 plus t. But addition is commutative, so that's 2 to the t plus 3. And that is g of t, right? So we can use the laws of exponents to show that these two things are, in fact, equal. All right, hope this helped.